City, it's your man Joe Claire, out and about in New York City. Why am I here? To check out the lady you've heard about. The lady you're wondering about. Who is Charlie Baltimore? I'm gonna spend the day with Charlie. We have a photo shoot, we have some radio drops, some studio time, all those types of things. And I'm gonna find out who is Charlie Baltimore and why do you love her or hate her so much? It's Rap City. Now stay tuned. It's about to be off the heat. Charlie Baltimore is in the back having a photo shoot, but they won't let us back there because, you know, they can't work with all these cameras and things. They think our hip-hop vibe is going to tear it up, so we got to stay out here. See the people looking around, but they won't let us go back there. Treat me like a stepchild. That's how rap city is. I bet if we was another network, they'd let us up in there. But you know, that's how they be doing to us, man. The BT thing, stay tuned. We're going to catch up with Charlie Baltimore sooner or later. I'm going to have to talk to him about it people, too. Chilling with Charlie Baltimore. <laughs> She's looking ravishing this evening in tape. In tape. In tape. Masking. Scotch. Thumbs, thumbs, thumbs. Boy, this is. <laughs> I'm living it. Anyway, <laughs> um, you and Ghostface got a drink together. What's yeah. up with that? That's like. Like Charlie Baltimore meets the Wu Tang. Meets the Wu. All right, but it's like if Wu Tang Wu Tang could do like a love ballad, you know what I'm saying? That's what it would sound like. It would sound like me and Ghostface joint. Ghost is nice. Ghost is nice. Ghost is nice. Ghost is very nice. Now, who, you, who, you, who do you uh, 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 aspire to work with in this industry? Who do I aspire to work with that I haven't already worked yeah, with? Yeah, that you haven't worked with. To work with like everybody that I admire, like growing up, you know what I'm saying, or everybody that I admire since I've been inspiring and being hip hop, you know what I mean, like Mob Deep is on my album, and Noriega, you know what I'm saying, and of course, I got Ghostface and RZA did some stuff for me, Premier, you know what I'm saying, like the, the hip hop moguls, you know what I mean, right. the so people you that you look up to, definitely, you know what I mean. Now, who, who did you listen to? Who were, were you listening to when you were becoming, deciding, I'm going to become an MC. We're not really deciding I'm going to become an MC, but having that dream. Who were you listening to? Who kind of, like, inspired you? I mean, I've been rapping since I was in, like, the sixth grade. So I, I had to say, exactly. oh, I guess my biggest influence was Big Daddy King. Because when he dropped Raw, it was just like, it hey, was talking over. About, talking about, <laughs> can we do a rewind, too? 1994, when I said everybody, my favorite, or one of my favorite rap songs of all time, Right, Big Daddy Kane. Yeah, it's raw. Here I am. R-A-W. Terrorist. Here to bring trouble to. Pony season. Pony And stomp another rapper with ease. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. R-A-W. Stay tuned, because Charlie has to get down now. She has to move. Her <laughs> yeah, position. I got to move. She could move, so we got to cut the cameras off. Because for real, like I said, all she got yeah, on. Yeah, y'all can't, y'all can't see All she that. got on is tape. <laughs> you know it's getting me a little sorry. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. Oh, Rob she got to get down. Cut the cameras off. Cut the camera off, man. <laughs> The third scene now we're gonna do is one more scene with a lot of pipes, but changing it, that is squashing it in her body, and then we move it. It's the, uh, these are some of the pictures. What happens is they take a Polaroid picture before they shoot the color real. So. This is the uh, the preliminary uh, Polaroids of the shoot. And as you can see, Charlie Baltimore is looking very radiant, very glowing, very nice in these pictures. I, they don't know I'm about to, um, I'm about to hit him for, for uh, I'm gonna hit him for one of these pictures. Y'all stay tuned with that. Can't get it out. Oh, kind of made, right. Walk away. All right, y'all, still at the photo shoot with Charlie Baltimore. You can see she's undergoing 
some of the preparatory, surgery. preparatory <laughs> surgery. Surgery. That's what you call it. <laughs> yeah. Before the shoe surgery. Surgery. Yeah. Before the shoe surgery. How long does it take, Charlie? I mean, well, it takes a minute to get your makeup and your nails and hair and everything done. But we've been here since 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's about 8 o'clock at night it's, right Yeah, now, it's going so. on around 7, 8 o'clock this evening. That everybody think that rapping is all the beauty and glam and performance, but it's a lot it's of the hard other work side. behind the scenes. You know this is complete. Now, is this hard work? Some people would just say, well, you just sitting there nah, getting your nails <laughs> done and getting your head did or whatever. you still got to take the pictures and stay awake and look awake and, you know what I'm saying? Everybody don't know that. They just see the pictures and like, oh, all right, that looks fun. It's a lot of hard work. And, and we not even halfway done with the shoot yet, so what? we're going to probably be Are you used to all this primping and all this pampering and stuff, taking care of you, doing all your little, look, it's about 17 people been running in and out here taking care of all day. No, I'm not really used to it, you know what I'm saying? They just do it at a shoot. If I, if I wasn't at a shoot, I'd do it myself. Does it feel weird? Kinda, in a way. I guess once you get used to it, it's, you know, it's a little different. But when, you, when I first started, I was like, everybody fussing over me. <laughs> like, what everybody fussing over me for? So, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just like, all right, let's get it done. Now let's get it on. Let's get it done. Let's do it. Let me, let me get my thing on. Is there anything like, like, see, we, we, uh, we hip hop, we hardcore, whatever. We the street. When you come in the shoots like this, do they enhance your streetness or do they try to take away from it? Is there like clash sometimes? It's a clash sometimes, you know what I'm saying? For real? But I mean, I'm not really concerned about that because I think once people hear the album, they'll be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Hot. That's crazy, yeah. But I mean, like, I'm, I'm just dealing specifically like with the people, with like the photographers, right. like the, uh, I guess, uh, writers, journalists, whatever, who come in and be maybe for the fashion magazines or whatever. Right. Right. Do, they, is it, does you, do you sometimes clash with them? Yeah, sometimes. No, you mean like personally or just? Just like coming in, you got to get the shoot done, and they want it to a certain way. They want you at this demeanor right. or whatever. You well, usually, it, it, it usually goes down like, for this particular shoot, the writer had already did her interview, you know what I'm okay. saying? So you get like a, a day or two with the writer, and then you get like a whole nother day for the whole, you know, the shoot. But sometimes, you know, it does clash, because sometimes, you know, the, the, everybody wants one thing, and then my label might want something different. All right, well, listen, they calling for Miss Baltimore. Charlie got to go do her thing. We're going to holler at you at the uh, studio. Yeah, come, come check me at the studio. I check your studio. Y'all, you got your head getting mixed into the <laughs> Mac glass. You think I ain't know about that? That's the glass. You know about Mac That's glass. The Mac. I'm, I'm saying, man, you got to know about the little products y'all got, the Mac glass in the head. I see you at the studio. All right. Hey, come on, stay with me, y'all. Come to the studio. Check People just get caught up in seeing the video like, oh, that look like it's, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? It's fun, but it's a lot of hard work. It's still moving on. We're still going. It's 10, 15 at night. And Charlie started the day around, I guess, 8 o'clock this morning. And she's just catching her second win. We had the Hit Factory. You know, the famous studios in New York where everybody records Stevie Wonder, Madonna. Everybody records here. So Charlie's here. So we're going to see how the other part of her day goes. We're going to go kick it with Charlie. Y'all, come on. Follow me through. Thank you. Come on in. See, it's just getting started. It's just getting started, bro. I say, I mean, let's... So you walk in the studio, first person you see is Un. As soon as you walk in, that's how that's how she, man. Stick with me, Rap City. This is about to be off the hook. What Charlie go? Which way Charlie is? All right, y'all. Here live with Charlie Baltimore at the Hit Factory. It's 10 summer night. You started your day at what time this morning? I I started my day at 8 o'clock this morning. 8 o'clock, you've been up, yeah. so we're going You've been over. hanging with me for about, what, like five, six, seven, eight hours? <laughs> somewhere around there, somewhere around there. And about what time do you think you're going to be done with everything this evening, tonight? Um, I guess like around 1. Around 1? 1 or 2, yeah. 8 to 1, what time you got to be up tomorrow? Probably like around 9. And then a full day? Yeah, and I got to go get my daughter and tote her along with me, so... So you got a real full day tomorrow. I got a full day every day, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people wouldn't, wouldn't think that. A lot of people probably, you know, think, hey, she probably come in, spit her verse, and then just go home, and then that's that. No, it's a lot of work that goes on behind me, spit my rhymes, and after I spit my rhymes, and 
you know, I, I think a lot of people do get caught up in it, you know what I'm saying? They just think when they hear your album, like, oh, okay, that's all they had to do was like go up in the studio and rap. And it's like, no, it's so much work that you got to put in behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Before the album's done, after the album's done, you know what I mean? And people just get caught up in seeing the video like, oh, that look like it's, it's fun, you know what I'm saying? It's fun, but it's a lot of hard work. Now, a lot of people, when, when you, you just said daughter, you have... I got two, two daughters. daughters. Yeah, I got an eight-year-old and a four-year-old. Now, see, you wouldn't <laughs> think that about you, well, child. Well, I keep saying that. Because I'm being real with you. You don't want me to give you the fake, do you? Nah, I want I'm going to give, give you the real. Give it, keep it real, you know. People Why? Because I was dressed in tape earlier? Well, because you was dressed in tape <laughs> earlier. Uh, because, you know, the image that you have and a lot of the, the, the media that has surrounded you since you came out, they wouldn't have suspected you. You're a mother. You're I'm a mother. You know what I mean? I had my, my oldest daughter when I was 16. So, yeah. And you still went on to become a paralegal? Yeah, I went to college. Because, you know, it's like my family was like, you'll never amount to anything, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you had a baby and, you know what I'm saying? I, I had my daughter, my oldest daughter, I went to school, went to college, and I had my little daughter. And, you know what I'm saying? I just want people out there, especially like young girls, to know that, you know what I mean? There's a lot of single mothers out there and they don't have nobody to represent them. You know what I'm saying? I'm representing for y'all because I know what it's like to be 16 walking down the street with your, your child and everybody's like, is that your little sister? And it's like, no, that's my child. You, well, that was a um, very mature decision you made in this damn time. You, you don't hear a lot of those stories. I mean, people go away to college and things. Right. But hear a lot about them, it's not bigged up the way it should be. Yeah. What just led you to, to, to keep going and say, okay, now I'm a paralegal, let me see if I can become a rapper? I mean, it wasn't like that cut and dry, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it's just, especially when you have children, like I know people get to a certain age and they say, well, I want to better myself, you know what I mean? I want to make a, a good life for myself. But when you have children, especially like, I think when you have them at a young age, well, I know I can speak for myself. Mm -hmm. It's like, you want the best for your children, you know what I mean? I had like a, a rough time growing up, you know what I'm saying? I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in the hood just like mostly everybody, you know right. what I'm saying? But when you get to, to, when you get to a point when you have children, it's like, you don't want your children to go through what you went through growing up, you know what I mean? You always want to do something to better them and better yourself. So I was like, I wasn't going to let anything get in my way of, you know, stopping me. And I always knew I could rap. So when I saw the opportunity, you know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, somebody going to put me on. I was like, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Was it ever a decision? Um, did you ever, like, when you decide, okay, I'm going to go and step off into the rap game, right. leaving that for sure money to come and try to get some more money, was it was it hard to make that decision? No, say? it wasn't hard at all. Because I'm not, I, to me, like, personality-wise, mm -hmm. I'm not really a behind-the-desk kind of person, you know what I'm saying? Right. Some people just not cut out for that. I mean, I, trust me, I did my work. Like, you know, my mm -hmm. boss was happy with what I did, but it just wasn't me, like... It's just like people that are like artists, like, you know what I'm saying? When you when you young and you paint and you're like, I want to grow up and be an artist and your family like, that's not going to get you no money. Right. <laughs> you're, you're myself. Like, that's like you want to grow up and be a poet, like, right. for what? Like, that's, you know, you're not going to make no money doing it. And it's, it discourages you. Now, Charlie, uh, let's deal with the hate issue. <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the hate issue now, man. It's a lot of hating. Yeah. They, they, that just comes in the game anyway. Anybody comes in, you, you hot, number one, or if the cameras are on you, number one, it's going to be hate. However, if you're beautiful and you're, and you're talented, well, then it's going to be a bunch of hate. But, right. but why in this day and time? When sisters are seemingly coming together, it's like... I mean, I think that people hate on people because they get misconceptions, you know what I'm saying? It's just like... You know, when you're young and you're walking down the street and you might see, well, I don't know what guys do. I just know what girls do. Girls like, who she thinks she is? You know what I'm saying? When you're young and, well, even now, still. Yeah, you be like, you be like that. Yeah, but like, like well, who you think he is? Like, he ain't know all that. Hey, look at this little <laughs> sexy ass, that tight shirt. Don't think he is. Yeah, I yeah so <laughs> I think that, um, but you don't know that person with that tight shirt. Or whatever right. you just said, that was crazy. But you might be the little tight shirt, <laughs> strong dudes walking around. He might be a cool dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. You just making your own judgment from him walking that shit with tight shirt. Right. You know what I'm saying? He might be looking at you and admiring something that you got on, and you like, what he looking at? You know what I'm saying? You just but dudes don't be watching me and admiring me, uh, <laughs> no, Charlie. Let's girls, go ahead and get that out well, of there right now. Girls, you know, girls look at girls and say, oh, she's cute, or right. you know, I admire that, whatever. <laughs> you tripping? But, I mean, I think I just think that people get caught up in a whole misconception about 
visual. You know what right. I'm saying? I think it's it's a it's visual. But in my case, it was like I think that people, you know, was was kind of thrown off from me from money. You know, it's from the song money. Right. Y'all already know that Charlie's in charge. Weekly massage, platinum and gold cards, money stats from NY. And it was like, okay, money came out, and it's like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Some people liked it, and then some people was like, well, you know, what is she talking about? Like, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What is this what she represents? You know what I'm saying? She's going to be coming out rapping about money and, you know, for the love of money and getting money or whatever, you know what I mean? And, and then they saw the video, and it was like, oh, she looks like a superhero or something, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, we talking, we talking about it from a hating aspect. Right. We're not talking about the fans of money. We're right. talking about the hating the aspect. Haters, so, the haters. I'm going to give you my, you know, my honest opinion that money was not a masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? Money was not put out for people to be like, oh, you know, lyrically, she nice. Money was put out as like a light. Easy. But wasn't it off the soundtrack? Yeah, it was off okay. the Wu soundtrack, you know exactly. what I'm saying, for, for my label, so... It was like one of the first songs I did in the studio, you know what I mean? So I'm like already like mad, jittery, nervous right. or whatever doing right. that. I'm still, I'm just starting to hear my voice on tapes and, you know, like, I don't like my voice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. I had all these issues with, you know, my label. Like, I don't like my voice on records. Like, how can I change that? You know what I'm saying? And they like, well, the more you rap, the nicer you'll get. So, you know, we dropped Money and Money was meant to be like a lighthearted kind of, you know, fun kind of club song. And everybody that was a hater. Or not even a hater, some people just didn't like the song. Right. Mistook that for that's what I'm representing. You know what I'm saying? I'm representing, you know, crushing the play with the purple navigator. You know what I'm saying? What would you want them to know? Not to think, but what would you want them to know? I mean, nah. I want them to know that I'm nice. And you gotta get that album to peep it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not even I'm not even concerned about that because I think that every song that came out after that, people started seeing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she's not representing it, you know what I'm saying? And that's one of the reasons why we didn't just drop an album right then right then and there. Because myself and my label saw, you know what I'm saying, they could have dropped the album and probably sold a whole lot of units, you know what I'm saying, off that one song if we would have put it on the album as well as the soundtrack. But I'm like, you know, I want people to know that, you know what I'm saying, I want people to feel me from where I'm from, you know what I'm saying, and, and what I've done in my life, you know what I'm saying, and, and things that I've gone through in my life, you know what I'm saying, that's that's the type of people that I need to listen to my songs, like, you know, I don't want people to get caught up in, you know, how I look or, you know, anything else, I can't help how I look, how I look is how I look, you know what I'm saying, but that don't have anything to do with how I rap. And it don't have anything to do with my life experiences growing up. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, even in a sense it does because I guess, you know, a lot of times you discriminated against. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And people don't really know the real Charlie Baltimore slash Tiffany Lane. You know what right. I'm saying? And it's like the album kind of represents both. 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 So we get to see Tiffany Lane. You get to see Tiffany Lane. You get to meet Tiffany Lane. You get to meet Tiffany Lane. Tiffany Lane. Like, for her. real. Like, Charlie you know what I'm saying? You get songs that really go in depth about you know, life and, and things that I've been through, you know what I'm saying, and, and my children, you know what I'm saying, and that's important to me, and I know that's important to other people as well, so, you know what I mean, I did the best that I could to portray that to to people, you know what I'm saying, I got like, when we was done, I had like 40 songs done. Done. And done. Done. Like done, you know what I'm saying? Recorded or? Recorded, everything, written. both, like everything, you know what I'm saying, we was like non-stop, so I have about, I think I have... Including everything, it's like 25 tracks on the album. You know what I'm saying? Like hot, blazing joints. Like back 25 to back joints. joints? 25 joints. We be working. Charlie <laughs> Entertainment Baltimore be working. Marathon <laughs> mom. But that's not just me. That's like all the, all every artist on entertainment. You sign entertainment, you're going to work. Like you you're going, you're going you to work. But you're a mom. You're a mom. Right. And you do some modeling. So, a little bit. I see you in a little... little the covers you do, the story, the articles, and the pictures that go along with the modeling and now, And you putting out like 25 songs? 25. That's a lot of work. It's a lot That's of work. That's a big plate. It's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? So, if my eyes look a little red right now, everybody. I don't... I'm not... I wasn't smoking in that. I <laughs> wasn't drinking. I've been working hard. Oh, she's been working. She's been working. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Rap City, Joe Clay, Charlie Baltimore. We'll be back. Joe Clay's back. Charlie.
Charlie Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Luna, I think. Now, let me ask you a few uh, secrets, uh, Charlie. Secrets? Yeah. Hold on, hold on um, there. How personal you get ready to get? Uh, a few things. <laughs> Number one, is that your hair? Yeah, this is my hair. Uh, yeah, everybody thinks. All that's yours. All this is my hair. None ego. additives, yeah, no yeah. preservatives. All right, I don't feel no track. You're not a track master. Well, it's a red preservative. All but right. it ain't no added. Right, but you know, it's some color. That's all right. We can take color. We can take color. <laughs> we just making sure that you ain't now got no added. Now, I think my hair is a wig, so I let it grow out, and they still think it's a wig. So I don't know what to do. You got a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. You got no boyfriend? Don't I don't have time for no boyfriend? All right, I feel that. So I'm real married, picky. Y'all. You married to this? You are married to? Yeah. Right I'm now, to making this. this out. I'm married to my children, you know what I'm saying? But I'm real picky too, so that's another. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's fella, another thing. The fellas want to know also. I hear you, but no, I don't well, know. look, she's pretty. <laughs> What's the credentials? Give me the credentials. Come on, tell them. I don't you. have high standards, like, as far as, you know what I'm saying, look-wise. But you got, you know, you can't have, like, no bodily odors and stuff jumping off. Like, no no messed up feet, no funky feet. You got to take care of your feet, get your little pedicure or something, you know what I'm saying? You got to be kind of humorous, you know what I'm saying? You got to be funny. Not like the mad comedian, but, you know, you got to have a sense of humor. You can't take everything seriously. Now, how's it working for, uh, for Un? Over here, entertainment. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's like my family, you know what I mean? Because Un is, is the person that I think that God blessed me with and put in my life, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I had just called Un on the humbug one day to see how he was doing because we was mad cool. And he was like, I know you rap, you know what I'm saying? You need to come up here and rap for me. And I was like, what? <laughs> he was like, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's not like I had a demo or anything. I went in the office and put on a beat and just kept rapping, like, and um, he sent me home with some beats, like six beats, and he was like, yo, come back when you write, like, six joints. And I didn't even know, like, how to count bars. I just used to rap, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. I came back with, like, 600 bar rhymes. Right. Like, oh, you got <laughs> like, in a week, done. he was like, you wrote, you finished? I was like, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? And I went, I went up in there, and I, you know what I'm saying? He was like, you sure this is what you want to do? Because this is, like, hard work. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah. And, and I signed to them, me and Cameron, was um, Un's first artist, so it was like, Cam was like my brother, you know what I'm saying? Right. I was like our father, our right. uncle or something, you know what I'm saying? Always making sure he was cool and stuff, so it's, you know what I'm saying? It's like a family thing, and, and I really, I'm like really, I don't know what the word is, like, I guess loyal to that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm thankful that God put somebody in my life that said, yo, I'm going to make sure that, you know, this girl got a chance to, to do something in her life that's, that's positive for her and her children, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned, y'all. Joe Claire, Charlie Baltimore. We might get some freestyle out of me. Y'all stay tuned. All right. Back. Spit like a player, pool jaw. 48 straight, two y'all. Bring a hot chick to y'all. I'm here for my boosting chicken. Here for my FedEx to close back from Houston chicken. Here for my... Bad is, bad is, bad is, bad is. All right, y'all. You man, Joe Claire. The Rap City freestyle thing. You know how we do. But see, we got a special guest. You know I've been with Charlie Baltimore all day. But I'm joined by our label mate, the one and only Cam in the house. So let me start it off. On the for real, rappers is lame. Y'all be letting these old white men control y'all young black game. They feed y'all fame and pretty small piece of they chain. Y'all putting in all the work, but they attaching their name. Front you cash, own you for the rest of your day. They repo your black ass if you can't repay. And I'm wrong, think of all the rappers that's gone. In the street, smokes niggas up like buzz in the ball. Careers kaput, they the gator, they gone. New names that came along and they ain't playing the song. I'ma pass the mic, cause that's only right. Hey, Cam, come on and Make yo, sure that yo, tight. Hey, yo, they used to call me Workout. Cause before I brought my workout, I used to work out. Cats want to make deals, now nah, now nah, I'm gonna work out. Now murk out, before you get cursed out. Banging ain't fun, same as the sun. I don't run in church when you slang to the nuns. Jumps up with your rap and orangutan guns. The Betty Bash, you petty death, you seem soft. I'm seven judges up in Supreme Court. Mean thoughts all over a team course. Wait, got to tell you spit. Matter of fact, pat them down, who the hell you with? Yo, you whack money, wait around all day for pack money. Get a gold chain, talk about you back to act money. But everything's gonna be all right, why? Cause every ring's gonna be all light, said. You wanna kill me, come and do it, I don't give a what. Diplomats, live it up, clack, clack, give it up. What, 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 yo. Yo, yeah. subliminal yeah. thoughts. Honey, Senate Street, criminal court. Pissing drunk up in here, going in the court. Speaking of pissing, judging my right, though. Case recorded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My comeback never. 
never done whack. Cats dressed to nail me like a thumbtack and fit these walls. Swallow wood, daddy, keep the throat clear like holes. Meant to lift this, gotta lick it back with the hit this. Ain't no I can rip this, no I can flip this. Thought I was coming on some high yellow chickness. Spit like a play and pool jaw. 48 straight, two y'all, bring a hot chick to y'all. I'm here for my boost and chicken. Here for my FedEx to close back from Houston chickens. Here for my credit card scam chickens and stores with their backs to the cam chickens. I'm here for my trick player chickens. Get paid for stats that be quick. What chickens? What? Play the cut till my 15 minutes is up. Ain't drop one in the way. Be fashionably late. Rap six. CB, Cam, Ron, Joe, Class. Entertainment and we out. Huh? She ain't saying it's silly, don't you know what? Ain't no million, so brave for really. It's not a game, my nigga. I'ma do this to every chain of chili. Babe, we out, we out, we out. 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 We